The Boundary Supply Errant is a 24 liter backpack that boasts some really great functionality in a slick and minimal form factor. I'm Tom, the founder of Pack Hacker, and we love helping people optimize their travel experience with guides and reviews just like this one. So if you're new to the YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into the Boundary Supply Errant. According to Google, Errant has two different definitions. The first is traveling in search of adventure, and the second is erring or straying from the proper course or standards. To be honest, both of these definitions are true depending on what aspects of the bag that you're talking about. In some cases, it is really meant and geared up for travel, especially minimal one bag travel. In other cases, they kind of stray from the norm from what we've seen in other pack designs. Sometimes it works out really well in their favor, and other times it doesn't seem to hold up quite as well. From an aesthetic perspective, we think the Errant is slick and minimal. It has a really great look, and it does a good job at hiding all the extra functionality going on with this bag. Beauty is always in the eyes of the beholder though, so we pulled our Instagram audience, and 69% of people like the look overall. And this definitely trends a little bit higher than what we've seen in other polls, which means that the look and the aesthetic is widely accepted. We'd love to have you around for future polls. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and follow at PackHacker on Instagram. So you pair this overall minimalistic look with some very subdued branding that's actually black on black on the backside of the pack and the strap, and we think you've got a really great slick look. At the time of this review, the Errant is available in three different colors. Himasa Tan, Obsidian Black, and Slate Blue. A quick note on color and production, Boundary seems to be having a couple of issues with their overall production as well as the slate blue color. We have also read some comments online that tease up Boundary's communication and customer service as a little bit spotty. We can understand and empathize with Boundary Supply here as this is a Kickstarter and they are developing it as they go. However, we have seen similar issues with Boundary Supply's first product on Kickstarter, the Prima system. So we're curious as to see why more of this hasn't gotten figured out on the second go around. The main fabric on this pack is a 500D Duramax Kodra, and it's basically a nylon. The shiny rubbery parts are Hypalon, which are a little bit rubbery to the touch. We like they feel a lot better than tarpaulin. The pack also has a coating of DWR for additional weather resistance. We have some durable and weather resistant YKK zippers, and a lot of them have their own zipper garages or are covered with different flaps and things like that to help with even more weather resistance and slight security. The magnetic fid locks are satisfying to operate both on the sternum strap and a couple of other areas on the pack. The dense LFT foam keeps the harness system in the back panel nice and comfortable. And lastly, there's some Wujin plastic hardware used on the sternum strap as well as a couple of other places. So I just threw a lot of materials at you and that wasn't a mistake. There's a lot of solid and quality materials going on in this bag, all at a pretty great price point as well. Kicking it off with the external components, let's start with the harness system on the back side. Starting off with these straps, these are thick and dense enough for a comfortable carry. They're a tad dense at first, however, as you wear the pack for longer, you break them in. We've been testing ours for about two weeks. On the straps, you'll find two nylon loops that can be used to attach additional accessories, including some from Boundary Supply. The sternum strap attachment system on this thing is not ideal, and this thing has actually fallen out without us even trying to pull it out, so that's never a good sign. We've seen this design on similar packs and have ran into the same issue time and time again. So overall, we'd recommend either keeping this out if you're gonna use this bag, or trying to have the sternum strap fastened at all times, so in case one side falls out, the magnetic fidlock clasp keeps it together. Now it can be a bit of a pain to continuously swap this thing out whether you need it or not, but it seems like the best solution from what we've found so far. On the flip side, those magnetic fidlocks are overall pretty great to use, and they're just a breeze to put on. And lastly, these straps are adjustable here with the plastic hardware, and there's a little bit of chatter it kind of like skips a little bit. It's not really a smooth glide. So not the biggest deal, but just a note. Lastly, there are some nice plastic strapper keepers here to avoid those dangling straps as well. There are two nylon loops on each side that hold the option of a waist belt. And I really love that Boundary has included 
two on each side so it lets you adjust based on your torso length. This is something that a lot of other bag companies could learn from doing, creating a more versatile carry depending on your body type. The waist belt does not distribute a ton of weight. However, we love that they have included this option. You don't necessarily need it for a pack this small, but it does help keep the pack closer to your back. Wrapping it up with the harness system, the LFT foam in the back here is thick and comfortable and the ridge design as well as the mesh covering here helps with airflow. And then we have a sewn nylon loop at the top here of the bag as well that is just padded enough to provide a comfortable carry. It's folded over, it's sewn, so there's a little bit more beefiness to it. And that just allows you to hang up the bag or grab it by the handle at the top. Nicely designed, low profile as well. Plus there is a hideable lash strap on the side that's good for keeping those straps under control if you wanna just kind of fasten them down a little bit. This also works as a luggage handle pass through as well. Although it's a little bit thin, it's actually enough to keep this thing vertically balanced on a piece of roller luggage. So it's definitely enough. We've seen this done differently in other bags and usually we'd say that this is a little bit thin. However, it works for the errant. The rest of the components on the exterior of this bag are pretty smart as well. So we have this water bottle pocket here with some gusseted fabric, the same fabric that's on the outside. You won't see any mesh here. And then you've got some elastic like material here that'll allow you to fit in larger water bottles as well. Above that, we have another G-hook lash strap that is great for securing tripods or longer items in this side pocket. Opposite of the water bottle pocket, there is a handle on the back side as well, and it's a little bit small, and since it's anchored on the back versus the side, there's not quite as much of a balanced carry here, but it's nice to have should you choose to utilize that. Wrapping it up, there are some convenient spots that have lash loops on the exterior of this pack as well. So you can use lash straps to carry additional things on the exterior of your pack. Kicking it off with the interior and access points, there's actually a lot going on with the errant. There are two security pockets on the back side of this pack. On the wearer's left-hand side, there's going to be a YKK weather-resistant zippered pocket. This is great for passports or other flat valuables that you wanna store inside of it. And then the side opposite of that features a Velcro pocket. Both of these have the traditional nylon liner that we can see inside the other areas of the pack. However, we personally like the zippered side a little bit better and the Velcro side doesn't feel as secure to us. On the side opposite of the water bottle compartment, we have this giant pocket that Boundary Supply has dubbed the commuter pocket. Overall, this pocket is really handy, well-designed and easy to access. We love what's going on here. At the bottom of the bag, there is a separate pocket and compartment to hold either dirty clothing or shoes with handy and well-placed zipper garages to help with additional weather resistance. If we go to the front of the pack, we have one quick access pocket underneath the magnetic closure of the top flap here that is nice to access. This pocket is lined with nywool, which is a little bit softer than the straight up nylon liner seen in other areas of this pack, which is great for putting in your sunglasses or anything with a screen. It's gonna be a little bit more gentle on those items. So moving on to that top flap, it closes with two different magnetic areas. It's a little bit better in concept than in actual use. It can be a little bit harder to close these fully, especially if this main top loading area zip is unzipped. Since it doesn't give it that structure, it's a little bit harder to lock down. So with that top zipper, you can fully close the pack. However, due to the more extreme shape, it is a little bit hard to zip and unzip quickly. So overall, access to this pack is quite slow. The second point of access is the clamshell compartment in the back and quite the opposite we found here. This is an excellent setup, especially if you wanna access your tablets and laptop quickly, as well as the interior of the bag overall a lot faster. If you keep these zippers towards the center of the top, you can unzip them slightly and then quickly just get access to the entirety of this back panel and we love that. Although the zip fully opens in clamshell style, there is a plastic fidlock that's in the way. If you do wanna just rip it open, it kind of self-regulates and stops with that fidlock in place, just allowing you to access your tablet and your laptop. This is a great feature because it doesn't unexpectedly open and it lets you access it very quickly without fear of the entire clamshell opening up. When opening the clamshell fully, we're basically greeted with an entire bucket and there's actually a lot of smart thinking going on inside of this thing as well. 
On each side, we have nylon stretch pockets, which are good for holding interior water bottles or rolled up towels or larger items. Then within the main leader space, we have eyelets, lash straps, magnetic attachment points, and a Velcroed sleeve. All of these fastening points are designed to seamlessly integrate with Boundary's other products. With those products, we include the Boundary MK2 camera case and the CB1 photo insert. We really like Boundary Supplies thinking through all of the details just like this. It allows you to take a modular approach to the type of gear that you wanna carry, and it adds some customization so you can just, again, just get things just right for the way that you want to carry things around, and we love that. Above the main leader compartment with that bucket style, there is a floating mesh compartment in the shape of a half circle. This is great for dumping tech items to, say a mouse, charging cables, or just additional wires that are otherwise hard to tame. You have great access to this by unzipping the back clamshell halfway. You can access your laptop, tablet, and then this pocket as well quite easily. And now onto the super mega laptop sleeve and tablet area. Starting at the bottom, we have two stretchy and meshy pockets that are gusseted if you need space for bulkier and larger items. Plus the elastic band on the top keeps larger items secure within these pockets. It's easy enough to pull these pockets open for access as well with the Hypalon pull tabs. Above that, we have Boundary Supplies secure double magnetic closure for your laptop and tablet. On one hand, the system feels a bit like overkill. However, since this top flap opens all the way clamshell style, it's nice to have that additional security for your laptop. If something were to happen, the bag were to get jostled around or fall off the table, something like that, everything stays locked in nicely. Both of these pockets are suspended with a false bottom, which means if you drop your bag on the bottom of it, the laptop and tablet is not going to slam into the ground. There's a little bit of padding and a little bit of dead space between those dedicated compartments and the bottom of the errant. The tablet pocket is lined with that traditional nylon liner and the laptop compartment features Nywool, which is a little bit softer to the touch. And lastly, that whole closure and system offers some ample padding, both on your back as well as for the devices inside. At the time of this review, I have personally been testing the Boundary Supply Errant for two weeks. I've also had the opportunity to test the Primus system as well, which is pretty similar in function and carry, although there's quite a bit more options on that bag, specifically towards camera carry as well. A lot of the organization systems here are solid, especially that mesh pocket for tech. I love just dumping things in there and having them separate from the rest of my pack. In the two weeks of testing, we also have some bad news. That sternum strap has fallen off one time without any prompting whatsoever, so it's a little bit scary to see that happen. Other than a bit of mud and salt staining the bag from riding my bike around in the Detroit winter, overall it has held up well, and I don't have many concerns about the durability of this pack. So to wrap this thing up with some pros and cons, there is a lot of functionality with this bag, and it still pulls off a slick and minimal look. There is excellent and thoughtful organization happening throughout the pack, and there are great materials used throughout. On to some of the cons, the top loading access is not fast. The sternum strap can fall off without warning, which makes it a lot easier to lose. And the Velcro pocket on the harness system isn't ideal. We like the zippered pocket a lot more. We normally don't bring up price with bags because we'll always be happy with paying for quality, but the Boundary Errant is an incredible value for what's offered. Overall, this is a solid pack that looks great and is a joy to use, especially if you're the type of person that likes packs and tends to geek out about all the little details and the way that you organize it. If you can look past the top access being a little bit slow and don't feel strongly about needing a sternum strap, the Errant is a great option as a daily driver or for minimal travel as a one bag travel backpack. Thank you for taking a look at our review of the Boundary Supply Errant, and we'll see you in the next video.